guys, welcome to today's video. I've been so excited to film this video and share it. It's taken longer than I expected, but it is here. It is Holly's 50 things to do, semi-productive-ish, but things to do regardless if you're bored. If you're not bored and you're busy and you just want more things to do or new things to try, I'm hoping that you'll get some inspiration, motivation, and ideas from this video. Basically, the backstory to this video. So I honestly loved Ruby's video, her 50 productive things. Ruby, Ruby Granger, you probably know who I'm talking about. I essentially challenged myself to see how many I could do in 24 hours. And from that video, I also created my own set of 50 things, which I have written down. And a lot of you guys said that you would be interested to see that video and to hear what 50 things I could come up with. If you try some of them, let me know down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it as usual. And without me waffling too much, here are 50 things coming your way. Okay, so in no particular order, this is just how my brain decided to come up with these. So, number one is to literally just dance. Just dance, have a boogie. Honestly, it will make you feel so good. Recently, you guys will know if you've watched my vlogs, I've been learning TikTok dances with my sister. So, I've been doing a lot of TikTok dances. I'm actually getting into TikTok, but haven't yet made my own profiles. Okay, number two is for you guys out there, if you have pets, groom them, pamper them, share your love with your pet, and hopefully you'll get some in return. Maybe not if it's a cat, but we can try. Number three is to do yoga. Honestly, it's the best thing, not only for your body physically, but also mentally. Number four is to have a photo shoot. Now you can either grab someone else to take pictures for you if you are in self-isolation with your family or friends, or just set up a self timer and try and take pictures of yourself, which can be semi awkward at first, but actually really fun. Number five is to just put together some new outfits. Just see which tops work with which skirts or trousers or leggings, you know? Plan some outfits so that when we do come out of lockdown and we're allowed to venture off outside of our homes, then you'll have some new outfits to try. I know the UK were coming into summer, so of course I obviously had to work out my yellow shorts. Okay, number six is to start a blog or just write a blog post, regardless of whether you make it public or not. Just write something and see where it takes you. Number seven is to play a board game or play a card game. So board games and card games, you can do them with other people, but there are also card games I know that you can do on your own. So like Patience, for example, forget technology, forget all of that. Just think board games, card games. Number eight, of course, we couldn't get through a whole video without me talking about smoothies. Ruby in her video said to try a new recipe. I'm saying try a new smoothie recipe, okay? You guys know I am high on smoothies and I'm saying just try a new one. Number nine, obviously, because we're in quarantine, we're in lockdown, we can't see our friends and some of our family. So I'm just saying to video call them, call them, Skype them, FaceTime them. <laughs> <laughs> is this like Skypeception? My Australia twin sandwich. I just need to insert my face here. Look at that. It's a twin banana. Oh, wait, Maddie, you're in your dressing gown. <laughs> She's full of stripping off. All right, tell me when. When? Oh, yes. Yes, Maddie. Oh my gosh. Is this TikTok dance? Okay, and number 10 is to put makeup on. So this is coming from me, Holly, who does not wear makeup, but try putting some makeup on if you don't do it normally or if you do love makeup try something new i don't know just just do a bit of makeup I learn to chop vegetables properly now properly is the key word i do blame our blunt knives at home but i don't have the best culinary skills so look at this skill oops learn to julienne something or finely dice an onion you know perfect your chopping skills number 12 is to doodle or draw something go outside and sketch a tree or just doodle you know number 13 is to crochet or knit obviously you kind of need knitting needles or a crochet stick thing to do this but I learned how to knit and crochet when I did GCSE textiles and I really loved it. Number 14 is to sell something online. So I use Depop to sell clothes or jewelry or shoes that were mine, but are still in good enough condition to sell. So if you don't wear something anymore or you don't use it, then just try selling it online if you can still get to a post office. Number 15 is to plan a travel itinerary. Pick some of your top bucket list destinations 
and plan some of the places that you'd like to visit when we can travel again. Number 16 is to literally just sing. Belt out some lyrics if you know them and if you don't, just make it up. Stand in the middle of a field or something or on the top of a hill or in the shower and just just sing. Do some meditation. Just take some time to be still. Number 18 is for all of you musical lovers out there. Go online, go on YouTube and watch a musical online. Andrew Lloyd Webber has this YouTube channel and he uploads musicals. Number 19 is to listen to a podcast or find a new podcast. And I really love listening to podcasts if I'm out running or sometimes when I go on a walk. Number 20 is to power nap. I've never napped before but I might try and experiment with napping, so that might be coming soon. Back to food for number 21 is to not only make something in the kitchen, but try and replicate your favorite restaurant meal. So quite recently, I tried to make rice paper rolls. They were the ugliest things ever. I don't even know what I put in there, okay? But I made rice paper rolls and it was fun. Milka interlude, mini. Oh, hi, doing a video. Okay, oops. Oh, sorry. This is not how you pamper a kitty. What are we on, Milka? Number 22 is to make song playlists. Just put together some songs in a playlist. For example, make a musicals playlist if you love musicals or make a playlist for your next workout or your next run. Number 23 is to clear the apps on your phone that you don't use anymore. Number 24, plan your first day after lockdown. And I'm not encouraging you to rush out as soon as the lockdown measures ease, but just plan a day maybe with your friends or plan an outing or an evening somewhere that you haven't been to in a while. Number 25 is to create like a mood board. So mood boards can be a collage of colors, pictures, photos, images, drawings, inspiration for something. And it can be anything, for example, interior design, or room decoration, a wardrobe, outfits, anything. Number 26 is to make your own plant milk. There are so many plant milks out there nowadays, like almond, soy, rice, hemp, oat, so many different milks. And we can actually make them. It's actually a lot cheaper. For most of them, however, you do need something that's called cheesecloth. However, I tried making hemp milk without this because I think you can. And it semi-worked, it was a bit lumpy, but it actually was really creamy. Okay, number 27 is to cut your own hair, if you dare to do that, or cut somebody else's hair. Obviously, we can't go to the hairdressers during lockdown, so get some scissors and snip away. Number 28 is to learn to touch type. So basically type really fast, but there are really specific rules for touch typing. Just get my bearings. What is that? I am finding touch typing really, really hard to do because I just have really stiff fingers and I can't do anything else with them. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's actually so hard. So hard. Number 29 is gonna sound quite blunt and abrupt, but it's to unfollow or unsubscribe from the people that you don't watch or you don't engage with. Or if somebody on your Instagram feed doesn't really make you feel that great, then just unfollow them. Or if you don't want to unfollow, just mute them. Honestly, I love social media. I think it can have huge benefits, but it can take a negative toll on your mental health, and follow some people or follow some others. Diversify your feed and really make it as positive a space as possible. Number 30, I really like number 30. So it's to learn the London tube map. I may be biased because I live in the UK, but I honestly think the London tube map is one of the best things ever. It's so well organized and I just love it. I just picked the learn the circle line because I always got the circle line when I went to London, when we went to London, when we could go to places. I've learned 19 stations going round anti-clockwise. Are you ready? Edgware Road, Bayswater, Notting Hill Gate, High Street, Kensington, Gloucester Road, South Kensington, Sloan Square, Victoria, St. James's Park, Westminster, Embankment, Temple, Blackfriars, Mansion House, Cannon Street, Monument, Tower Hill, Aldgate, Liverpool Street. Number 31 is to find a new music artist on SoundCloud. So when I find quite alternative, chill music, I often go to SoundCloud. I hope I'm still on track with the numbers, but number 32 is to color code your wardrobe. And it might make your outfit choices a bit easier. Number 33 is to make your own beauty product. Try a DIY face mask, for example. You can probably find recipes online and just try making a DIY 
beauty product. Number 34 is to be really nice to someone and give them a massage, be a masseuse, or get someone to give you a massage. Play some wave music. No, open ocean sounds. I can't relax, dude. <laughs> relax the head. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, don't make my ears go red, dude. <laughs> don't make my ears go red. <laughs> Fingers. <laughs> Little stubby things. But you have to keep your eyes closed. Sorry. Oh, he's nice and quiet. Oh, he's nice and quiet. Yeah, you do that side mini, yeah, that's right. Yep. Number 35 is to learn the flags of the world. I'm really bad at flags, but we can try and learn a flag a day for the rest of lockdown. And who knows, we may have learned all the flags by the time we get out of lockdown. Number 36 is to do a workout challenge. So yes, you can do a workout, but try challenging yourself to, I don't know, hold plank for five minutes, which is what I did, or do as many sit-ups as possible in a minute, or as many press-ups in a minute, anything. Just challenge yourself and make your workout a bit more interesting and maybe a bit harder. Three, two, one. Oh, oh sheesh. That's harder than it looks. If you squeeze your glutes, your whole body will be engaged and like you'll start to be like ah. number 37 is to paint your nails now i personally don't like drawing attention to my hands and fingers but paint your nails and number 38 is again for all of you out there that have pets try and teach them a new trick so barley and java have this hoop in the garden that we try and get them to jump through number 39 is to sort out your emails number 40 is to find a new charity that you can resonate with and that potentially you might donate to one day. So for example, I've recently supported Solidarity on my Instagram and YouTube, I've mentioned this. Oh, number 41, I like this one. Make yourself a fancy hot drink. If you're someone who normally goes to like Costa or Starbucks and gets your lattes or your cappuccinos or your mochas or your turmeric lattes, chai lattes, anything, try and make it at home. So I made a turmeric latte. I learned how to do it, it's so easy. Another kind of organizational task, number 42 is to organize your photo library. So your photos on your phone or on your computer. I don't do it. Okay, I take about a million photos of a bowl of oats. How many pictures of a single smoothie bowl? Do we need to have? Like, why, Holly, why? Maybe try and set a routine to keep on top of it. I don't know. Number 43 is to make some birthday cards. You can make some for birthdays that are coming up or just make birthday cards so that you have some ready to give to people when their birthdays come around. Recently, it was Emily's birthday and I made her birthday card. I spent ages making it and it was so fun. I loved doing it. An interesting one, number 44, is to learn the lyrics to a rap. He ain't ever even been impressed like no, this. No, no, slow, 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 slow. Let, Let me, me check my chest, my breath, right quick. Yeah, he ain't ever gonna see it dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check my chest, my breath, real quick. Whoop. He ain't, what is it? He ain't never seen me. What? He ain't ever seen it in a dress like this. Oh, he ain't ever seen it in a, I don't know what it is. Polly, why I got him quiet on the set like zip. Polly, why I got him quiet on the set like this. Like, Zip, zip! Let me check my chest, my breath, real quick. Right quick, right quick. Do he it again. No. Polly Wire got him quiet on the set, like zip! Yes! Oh yes! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Let me check my chest, my breath, right quick. He ain't ever seen me in a dress like this. He ain't never even been impressed like this. Polly Wire got him quiet on the set, like zip! Like it, love it, need it, there, take it, own it, steal it, fares, boy stop, playing, grab my ass while you're acting like you're shy. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> 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 it's really like this. Number 45 is to drink some infused water. So this can be hot water, cold water, and you can add like fruit or cucumber or lemon. It can really maybe help you drink more water if that's something you want to do. 46 is to try heatless curls. Instead of using heat, which can potentially damage your hair, try heatless curls. Put it up in socks or in a t-shirt or a towel 
and just try and make heat let's go 47 is with your organized photo library you can then go and i don't know edit some of your pictures i use the editor on my mac that's just built into the software i also use vsco cam on my iphone i don't really like to over edit photos and i don't really add filters but if that's your jam and you want to really get creative with it then maybe even learn how to use like gimp or photoshop number 48 is to write with your non-dominant hand i just can't even hold the pen properly in my left hand it just feels like i'm learning how to write again okay two more number 49 is to make a non-pub pub quiz oh my gosh the other day i did this quiz with the family it was in my vlog and it was the highlight of my lockdown it was so fun we have made it to number 50 the last one is kind of boring but it is to manage your subscriptions this can actually be so useful and beneficial because sometimes we sign up to a lot of things like we'll sign up to a free trial and often we don't know how many subscriptions we are signed up to and how much money is leaving our account every month write a list of all your subscriptions write down how much it costs you every month or every year and just manage that so yeah that is basically all of my 50 things that you can do i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some new ideas and as i said if you do try them let me know down below or if you have any more to share feel free because i do have others for example one of these was going to be like wake up to see the sunrise but then i realized that apparently the uk sunrise is at 4 30 a.m and then i was like no so yeah that's this video that's everything i wanted to say as always you can like this video comment down below if you want to you can subscribe but yeah until the next video which will be very soon i will say bye for now the link to nana is always as i say down below emily and i are gonna hopefully be working on more nana stuff tees sweats hoodies who knows and yeah i'll speak to you very soon <laughs> bye